Hey everyone, this video is to teach you how to do a semi-log plot in Excel. Specifically, this is for doing a standard curve for your agarose gel electrophoresis so that you are able to determine the size of your unknown pieces of DNA. So what you want to do is, starting from a picture of your gel, you want to take measurements for each of your known pieces of DNA, each of your known DNA fragments in your size standard lane. You want to measure from the leading edge of your well down to each fragment and measure in centimeters how far each fragment moved from the leading edge of the well. Then you're going to enter this data into Excel. So starting with your first fragment, which is your largest fragment, enter in its known size, which you should know, and then how far each one traveled. Then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight just these portions we're going to go up and click insert and then my charts and my scatter plot and that's going to insert a graph for me and so this gives me a standard curve but you can see how this standard curve is curved it's not very straight and what we would like is a straight line so that we can get an accurate measurement of our unknown fragments so the way we're going to do this is we're going to take the y-axis and change it to a logarithmic scale so if I click on this axis right here, and then I do a right click, go to Format Axis, that's going to open up a drop down thing here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to click Logarithmic Scale. And you can see how this changed to a logarithmic scale, and my standard curve is now much more of a straight line. It is a little bit high in the graph, though. We don't need this portion down here. So I'm going to go over here to where the minimum is. I'm going to set the minimum to 100. And now I have a nice straight line. I would like, however, for it to be even straighter. So if I'm going to put in a trend line, I'm going to click on this line and then I'm going to right click and come down here where it says add trend line. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to click exponential trend line. You can see my dotted trend line in there then is very, very straight. I would also like you to always have the formula for your equation for your trend line on your graph so that pops it in there. I'm also just going to move it so that it's a little easier to read and if I come up here and click home and bold then it is even easier to read. So now I've got my trend line and I've got my trend line formula. One other thing I'd like you to do on this graph is to make it more presentable. It doesn't have enough grid lines so I'm going to go over here into format sorry I'm going to go to chart design. I always get those two confused. And I'm going to go to Add Chart Element. I'm going to come down here to Grid Lines. I'm going to add horizontal grid lines. And then I'm going to come and do the same thing again. And I'm going to add vertical grid lines. Now I have a really nice standard curve. What you need to add to this is, of course, a title. You need axis labels. And now, given this formula, you will able to be able to measure the distance that your unknown fragments of DNA have traveled and use that distance to figure out how large a piece of DNA they are. So that should get you through that part of the lab.